Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Sheets, and I'm going to show you a new function today that is called GPT Splits, uh, which helps you splitting text uh, semantically. So the way it works is, let's say here you have uh, a short story uh, that was written with ChatGPT, and you want uh, to isolate each paragraph. So you can simply do GPT Splits, then the first parameter is the text itself and then you say how you want to split it so it should be like by paragraph okay you click enter and a few seconds later if everything works well you will get individual paragraphs per cell Okay, there we go. So you can verify that each uh, each cell uh, contains one paragraph. So actually, the way you can make this clear is I'll just wrap it. Okay, there we go. Um, and we have one paragraph per cell. So we have six cells for those six paragraphs and uh, they each start, so they were split correctly at each paragraph. So that would have been kind of painful to do uh, manually uh, or difficult to do with normal formulas, with traditional formulas, but with GPT split, it is super easy. Uh, note that you can also split it horizontally if that's what you want. You just do H split for that. Um, and then let's go. And instead of stacking the result cells vertically, it will stack them horizontally. Uh, which may be uh, easier for you to work with depending on your use case. Just Let's just wait a second. Okay, there we go. We've got all the cells. I'm going to wrap it again. I think these should be enough. Let's wrap it and make them a little bigger. Okay, there we go. So we have each paragraph in a different cell. Great. Um, now let's do that with an outline. So here I've got a GPT generated outline about uh, data privacy. And let's say that I want to then expand on each section, but uh, for that I'd rather have each section in a cell so that I can then apply a prompt to it. Um, so I'll do again GPT splits of the whole text and then uh, split it by section and in a few seconds it will have cut this outline into separate cells that each contain uh, the plan for one chapter one section okay there we go introduction types of data and down to the conclusion. Now I can easily apply a prompt to each cell separately. Um, something else that you can do is you can even split it uh, down the sub-level with uh, another model. It doesn't, so this uses here, if I launch the sidebar quickly, you will see that we use by default ChatGPT, GPT 3.5 Turbo. But there are other models that I can use. So if I want to use text that in C, I can select it here. Uh, and then if I select it here, it will apply to all the new executions that I do. Uh, so I can copy paste this formula here and paste it here. And you will see um, that with DaVinci, it actually splits it differently. It splits every single subsection in each different cell, which could be useful. I have not been able to, there we go, there you go. I'll just uh, maybe make this, you know, this won't change anything. Let me hide this column for now. Okay. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So you see that each cell contains one item of the outline. Uh, I have not been able to replicate this with ChatGPT. I've only been able to do it with DaVinci. Uh, so I'll do uh, I'll the other way. So if you don't want to use DaVinci by default because it is more expensive, 
uh, you can keep DaVinci here and you can simply specify the model in the model arguments this way, text DaVinci 003 and it will give the same results. Uh, and then I can keep using ChatGPT. Okay, uh, let's see, yeah, let's just wait. Okay, there we go, same results. Now, uh, let's do something a tiny bit different. I'm gonna close this. So here I have, uh, let me delete this. I have some uh, product uh, metadata. It's in French, but it's it's uh, basically from Nike.com, Nike uh, French version. So Nike.com slash FR. And I want to, I'll unhide this column. Sorry about this. Yeah, okay, this is the source. I knew that it was here. Just highlight it. Um, so this is the source of this data. And I want to split uh, these uh, this data into three categories, uh, three columns, product, category, price. So I'll do GPT. H splits, that is splits horizontally, and then I'll put the text here, uh, which is just uh, one cell, and I'll say uh, by uh, product, category, and price. And let's see what it gives. Okay, there we go. And now, so as you can see, it did split with the product name, the category here, which means uh, um, female shoe, and then the price. And so now I can simply drag it down and it will do the rest, it will do the other lines. Okay, um, and then once you, once you have that, uh, let me make a bit more room here. Once you have that, uh, for example, if price is not the format you want, here it's text, but you would want the number, you can easily just do a GPT format uh, of this and then say that you want a number and it will extract the number. There you go. And you can drag this down. And now you've got numbers and for, for example, you can do as a simple uh, sum of all of that, and then you've got the sum. Whereas if you would try to do it on this column, it wouldn't work because that's that's text, so it doesn't work. Um, note that you could also uh, let's let me delete this. Uh, let me delete all of this. You could also uh, H split is not the only way to do that. In this case, when you want to extract very small, uh, precise parts of text, you can also do it with the GPT extract function, GPT extract. So you put the text here and you can even uh, specify what you want to extract as a table. So it might even be easier. So you do it like this. Okay. And now um, you can fix this vertically and drag it down. And you'll get the same results. There you go. Okay, um, that's it for this video. I hope you appreciate um, the new H split and split functions. And uh, as always, please don't hesitate to comment under the video. Tell me what works and what doesn't. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the video. Thank you very much for watching.